science kids. Welcome to our first lesson in science for quarter 3. Handa na ba kayong mag-explore sa mundo ng science? Halil na kayo! Tara na! I'm Teacher Karen at sabayan niyo akong maglakbay sa mundo ng sensya. The third quarter in science 4 focuses on force and motion. In this video lesson, you are expected to understand that force can change the shape, size, and movement of an object. Do you want to know the changes that happen to objects when force is applied to them? In this presentation, you will be familiarized with and be able to explain the changes that happen to different objects due to the application of force. But before that, let's define first what is force. So force is a push or pull upon an object resulting from the object interaction with another object. It causes an object to move. So if you look at the picture, that is an example of push and pull that causes an object to move. So we're going to know what is the meaning of push. So push is a force applied in a direction away from our body. It is a force applied in a direction away from our body. If so, if you look at the example, they are moving the object away from their body. They are pushing the object. The next one is pull. Pull is a force applied in a direction towards our body. So they are pulling an object towards their body. So if you look at the picture, they are pulling the object towards their body. So force is needed to move an object or set an object in motion. Isunga ka sa pulang ti force when no pwersa, tap no agkuti ti may sa abanag. For example, this ball is not moving because there is no force applied to it. It will not move unless someone or something will push or pull it. Once a boy kicked the ball, there is force applied on it so the ball will move. So, that is an example of force. People and other living things cannot live without force. Force allows us to move our bodies and do our daily activities. Kahit nasa uwen, amin na kuti tayo in our daily lives kit adala tati force. Force cannot be seen. Force is invisible. If we look at the picture, those are example of our daily activities. So, if you are doing that, you are already doing a force. You are applying force. So, we have here the first effect of force on object. The shape of an object may change when force is applied on it. So, the first picture is kneading a dough. So, we, when we apply force in that dough, the shape will change. Kneading a dough. The next one is twisting rope. So, it also changes in shape. The next one is pounding rice. Another is stretching a rubber band and bending a wire. And then we have also compressing clay and squeezing a rubber ball. Dagito yung ala dawan, kit mga ipakita nga ti force or pwersa, kit binaliwan na ti sukog, dagito'y abanbanag. So, force is very important when you want to change the shape of an object. Aside from shape, we have also size. So, when force is applied to an object, the object's size may change. Breaking of glass. So, if you broke the glass and it will turn into tiny pieces, so the size changes. 
Also, when we pound rice, the size also changes. Cutting a paper, it will turn into tiny bits. And then, sharpening a pencil. And grinding. So those are examples of activities that can change the size of an object. So we are applying force here. Aside from shape and size, we have also effect of force on objects on movement. So when the force applied on an object, it also affects its movement. So we have here a picture of a man, a boy, playing a marble. When he hit the other marble, it moves. And we have also a man kicking a ball. There is a movement. At dati pwersa nga na ikabil kadagijay abanag, iso nga agkutida. So, Force is very much important to move an object. So always remember that force is a push or a pull. That is the simplest meaning of force, push or pull. Applying force can change the object size, shape, and movement. So take a look with this table. In our first column, we can see the object. The next is the action we have I done to the object. And the third and fourth column is what happened to the object. Does it change in size? Does it change in shape? So we have here the first object, the rubber ball. So what do you think the action we will do to the object? We can squeeze so that it will change in size and shape. How about the wire? We can bend or cut. Also, it changes in size and shape. How about eggshell? We can pound or crush. It also changes in size and shape. How about the stone? Yes, very good. We can grind or pound, change in size and shape. How about the candle wrapper? Yes, very good also. We can cut, it change in size and shape. How about the box? We can cut it, we can fold that box and it will change in size and shape how about the bottle cap pound and there is chains in size and shape how about the paper we can squeeze cut crumple and there is changes in size and shape how about the hair we can cut it and there, there is change in size. How about the biscuit? We can pound. And there is change in size and shape. Okay, very good. You get it right. So, if we have here another activity. We call it as, what's the action? So, I'm going to present a picture and you can tell. What is the action being done? What is the force applied on that object, on that picture? So the first one we have, okay, what action is being done there? What action is being done there? Okay, cut. How about the next picture? Pull. And then the next picture, what is the lady doing? Okay, pounding. Very good. Or pound. The next picture. 
increasing. Okay, very good. The next picture away from his body. Bush, very good. And the last picture crumple. Okay, the old man is crumpling the paper. So those are the action being done on each picture. So Another activity, we're going to tell whether the object being done is push or pull. Determine whether the action involves pushing, pulling, or combination of both by putting a check mark on the proper column. So, so we have here five actions. And then you choose whether pushing, pulling, both pushing and pulling. So we have here the first one, bending. So what is the action be involved? Yes, very good. Both push and pull. How about the other one? Lifting. Pull. Crumpling. Push. Pushing. Number four, tearing. What is the action involved there? Both push and pull. And the last one, throwing. Okay, very good. Push. So, did you understand now our lesson? What is push or pull? What is force? What are the actions being done to apply force? Okay, very good. So this time, we're going to answer some questions. This is our assessment. So you're going to choose the letter of the correct answer. So you're going to write the letter of a correct answer. So you will get a, pair, a pencil and a paper. And then you write your answer. Then afterwards, let's see what is the correct answer and be honest in checking your paper. So number one, it is a push or pull. What do you think is the answer? Very good. Force. Force is a push or pull. That is the simplest meaning. Number two. What is the effect of force when you slice a cake? A. Force changes the taste of the cake. B. Force changes the color of the cake. C. Force changes the shape of the cake. D. Force changes the shape and size of the cake. What do you think is the answer? Okay, the answer is... Letter D, force changes the shape and size of the cake. Number three, what changes when you stretch a rubber band? What changes when you stretch a rubber band? A, chemical property, B, color, C, size, D, movement. Okay, size. Next one. The picture shows that two players are pulling a rope with the same amount of force. What will likely to happen? The picture shows that two players are pulling a rope with the same amount of force. What will likely to happen? A. Both will fall. B. The girl will win. C. The boy will win. D. D. They will not move at all. What is the answer? Letter D. Okay. Very good. Next. Number 5. Which of the following is true about force? A. Force can change the shape, size of an object. B. 
Force can only change the direction of an object. C. Force cannot change the speed of a moving object. D. Force can change the chemical properties of objects. The answer is letter A. Very good. Number 6. Which statement is not true about force? Which statement is not true about force? A. Slicing a banana chains changes its shape and size. B. A rolling, a rolling ball on a surface will continue moving unless a force is applied to it. C. A ball moving on top of the table stops when you apply force opposite to the direction of its motion. And D. In order to show down or stop a heavy object, the force applied must be lesser than the mass of that given object. What do you think is the answer? Letter D. Very good. Next. It is an act of applying force to move something towards you. An act of applying force to move something towards you. A. Pull. B. Push. C. Push and pull. D. None of the above. Letter A. Pull. Next. What do you think will happen to the speed of the object when the force is applied in the opposite direction to the direction of motion? What do you think will happen to the speed of the object when the force is applied in the opposite direction to the direction of motion? A. Increases. B. Decreases. C. Remains the same. D. None of the above. Okay, it decreases. Very good. Number 9. If you are to push a cart, a big box, and a bicycle to a certain distance from the starting line, which do you think will require greater force? If you are to push a cart, a big box, and a tricycle to a certain distance from the starting line, which do you think will require greater force? A. Bicycle B. Big box C. Cart D. All of them The answer is Big box. Very good. And last, the greater the mass of an object, the greater is the force needed to the blank the object. I repeat, the greater the mass of an object, the greater is the force needed to blank the object. A. Move B. Push C. Stop D. All of them What is your last answer? Okay, all of them. Yes. So, you count your correct answers. And then, if you think you... Get a low score. You can go back on our video and watch it again. And if you think you got a good score, okay, let's clap for ourselves. And then get ready again for our next video. But don't forget to subscribe and like our video. Thank you and have a blessed day.